What's up, buddy? What are you asking for this? Uh, that I could do. I think it's cool looking. <laughs> Well, you can look through it, open it up, whatever you gotta do. Classic rock t-shirts? Yeah, right. Huh. That's interesting. 400 vintage tees from the 70s and 80s. Yeah, I got this, yeah, a couple weeks ago. All right. My wife and I watch it all the time. Oh, and, thanks, uh, man. I appreciate it. They're like, man, <laughs> I think Jason might like this. All right, welcome back, friends. It is great to see everybody. Thank you guys so much for joining me here today. In a couple of minutes, we're going to head on out to a couple of different local flea markets in this frigid cold air to see what kind of cool vintage items that we can find. With that, these dealers are super tough out here. They're not going to let a little cold air prevent them from setting up at the flea market, and we're definitely not going to disappoint them by not showing up. So with that, let's just get right into it. Is that a whole set? No. They're I all the same? I separated these because these are more expensive. These are, these are $3. These I need a certain price. How much? Yeah, different price. How much is it? Like, there's more of them in there. Yeah. Okay. It's like only one of them is Haro. Ah, uh, okay. Okay, so Haro, okay, so the top one's 15 and the rest of them are 10, okay? Mm -hmm. But the, the other ones are good too. Gotcha. If you look it up, they go for 60, 70 bucks. I mean, I'm, I'm, I'm asking about 20% of the value. Gotcha. 15 bucks. Very nice, crisp, you know? Yeah. That was the nicest one, by the way. Well, I think it's 1975. 75? Yeah. I mean... 10 bucks. Can't do 10 bucks on it? 15 bucks, all right. Like, I looked it up, this one was 75 in this condition, so... Gotcha. Thank you. All right, thank you, man. It's nice. One. That Appreciate was the best it. one. I like that one a lot. Yeah, it's cool. How's it going, man? How much are these? They're in this box here. Five each. The more you buy, the less it is. Are you looking for just those two? Yeah. I don't like these ones. That's your best price on these? Yeah. Uh, that was six bucks for the two. All right. Take those off here. Six bucks. Thanks, man. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you. What are those guys in blue? Okay. How's it going? Hi. How much is that little blondie mirror? Ten. Ten bucks? Yeah. That's Hi. weird to see that so small. I know. Well, it's a boardwalk. I don't know if you yeah. remember them. Oh, yeah. All right. Thank you. Hmm. Can I take a look at these? Sure. You can open it up. Oh. Yeah. yeah. Can I see that as well? Yeah. The original one. I always get like if it's the stones, I get twenty, but the blondies being small, it's ten. I don't really see that too often. Um, I can't think about it. You know, I'll take it just because yeah. I. Do you know this band? Deep that? Valley. Thank you. That's a that's a good that's a good uh, bottle opener. Deep Valley. No. And you Google them and then you can listen to their music and see if you want it. Looks like a band I saw last night on YouTube. They were called uh, the Rumors Band. 
-huh. It was two female singers that were kind of like punk rock. Uh -huh. Man, I think they were fantastic. From the 80s. Yeah, but they look just like this. It, That's people funny. People know who they are. Yeah. So. All right. Okay. I'll Glad you like the blondie. Yeah, that thing's awesome, man. Yeah, I almost kept it, but. Like, just because you don't whole, see I it, I have to get learn. it. I'm, yeah, I'm I got have it. the same thing. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, it's cool. Yeah. Thank you so much. All right, thank you. Appreciate it. Yeah, yeah, it it's battery operated. Yes, sir. Hey, excuse me, buddy. How much are these wrestling figures? Uh, they're my buddies. They just went to the bathroom. I think he's trying to sell them all together for two fifty. Two fifty? Yeah, but if you want this son, he'll be back in a little bit. Gotcha. A lot of people want the rubber one. Yeah. It's like there's over 100 figures. Um. All right. You know what? So it's 200 bucks for the wrestling figures and the Duke's car loan. Um. Alright, I'll do that. Let me make sure I got two more bucks on it. Need a bag or? No, I got this one here. So I got two. Yeah, right. you can down them up and help. Yeah, it don't matter. You can yeah, just chuck them. You can just chuck them. Yeah, I think the 17. Yeah, 30, but it was, it was on. I don't know what happened. I have a model in there. Do you? What are you asking for that? Uh huh. I would have taken all your goosebumps. Ah, no, I don't need them. For, for Lakewood area, you yeah, know. Lakewood, I, had, yeah, yeah. I had the Ocean, Ocean County thing. Okay, yeah. yeah. What do you got on that? Oh, what do you got on that? Yeah. 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 Not, just the box is open? Yeah. I don't think it needs. All right. out of here. I might take that off here. Let me just yeah. take a look at this. I, had a I just tell people, if you see it, take it. I'm going to want to sell it. Can you just recap yeah. that for me? Exactly. Yeah, that's probably about the right price on it. 80, 100, 20, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, well, so you can look through it, open it up, whatever you got to do. Right. I'm not right. sure you know, it's on the bottom or something. Yeah, let me check it out. <laughs> I saw a Saturday. I'm like, what is that? I didn't it's see never anything been on the Saturday. What you want for this? And it's it's got the stickers in there too. I don't know. You could, like I said, you uh -huh. can look through it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I didn't even look through the boxes, so you can look through it. Uh, so probably. I don't even I don't even know what's in there. Yeah, it's, it's but everything looked to me like when I opened the stuff up. Yeah. All the other stuff looked like it was all there, like the plastics. The plastics. And stuff, so. Like I said, you could look, just look through it. Is that your best price on this, too? Oh, no. $40, $40. All right. Take it for $40. Bucks. Thank you, man. Uh, it's all melted into the Okay, right? It's right now. And I have to buy it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Yeah, yeah.
All right, so hopefully you guys are really enjoying today's video. I just want to give a huge thank you to each and every person that has taken the time out to subscribe to this channel. Everybody has taken the time out to comment on all my videos and chitty chat with me online. Thank you guys so much. It really does make a difference. I really do appreciate it. And if you're new here and you like vintage toys from the 60s, 70s, and 80s, you like vinyl records and cool stuff like that, please uh, like, share, subscribe, leave a comment down below. Let us know how we're doing here as well. And with that, let's just get right back into it. Is this your stuff? How much is this? Five bucks? I'll take that. Perfect. Thank you. Thank you. It's cool looking. <laughs> Four bucks? Four bucks. All right. You got me on that one. He's just I cool. I had to. I had to. <laughs> I just want to get out of here, you know? I got you. Well, there you go, buddy. Thank you. Yeah. Take Have care, man. Day. Yeah, you too, man. How much is this? Oh, 45. 45 bucks? Yeah. That's crazy. What are you asking for this? 35. 35. Oh, and I've got these chat and birds. I don't know if you guys do chat and birds. I've got this custard one. So this works too? Yeah, yeah, that's a new um, cord. New cord for it? Yeah. Oh, and I have a Waterford bird too, I forgot. It all blurs together. Hmm. That's cool looking. What's your best price on it, you think? 30 bucks? That's neat, man. All right, I'll take it. Cool. Oh, awesome. Yep, thank you. What are you asking for these? How much are these gloves over here? Five bucks. Five bucks? Original from the eight. Size 11. Uh, a little That's bit ripped though. Those are cool, man.
You want anybody something selling all this stuff out? All right. Good. How are you, buddy? Classic rock t shirts? Yeah, right. Huh. That's interesting. 400 vintage tees from the 70s and 80s. Huh. That's interesting. Someone did a book on this. Oh, yeah, man. Five bucks? I'll take yeah. that. That's cool. Yeah. Heck yeah. What are these here? Epic. Uh, different magazines. How much is this Eplin book? Five bucks. Huh. Five beans. Like that. Yeah, man. Right. Yeah, thank you. This is awesome, man. Can't wait to go through this. How you doing? Good. How's it going, bro? Good, Costas. Nice, man. Nice to meet you. So yeah. I got this, yeah, a couple weeks ago. All right. Yeah. My wife and I watch you all the time. Oh, and, thanks, uh, man. I appreciate it. Like, man, <laughs> I think Jason might like that. So, here it is, man. Oh, that's really cool. Yeah, yeah. Nice. This thing's huge, dude. Yeah, I know. <laughs> I was like, the guy had it propped, and I was like, yeah. oh, no, can can that fold up? He's like, oh, of course. Yeah, that's so, awesome, man. So, yeah, it folds up, and then it holds it up. There's a little yeah. thing in the middle, and it holds it straight up. So. Yeah. Yeah. I'm kind of like the mid-70s, late-70s yeah, yeah. kiss, but I, yeah. this is still cool, though, yeah, you know? So. And it's funny because I've been finding these stand-ups recently. You know I what I mean? Okay. Yeah, I got the uh, Elvira. Oh, yeah, I saw then that, I, right. You know, yeah. Dead Man Walking. Now yeah. this thing, man, this is crazy. Yeah. <laughs> Everything so. just shows up in waves, dude. Um, what do you want for this thing? <laughs> I mean, what I, are you thinking? I, honestly, I paid 25 I'll take 20 bucks for it, man. That's, that's, I'm cool with that. All right, I'll give you 20 bucks. All right, cool. That's awesome. Thank you so yeah, much yeah, for no bringing problem. it out here. Uh, yeah. Huh? Are you leaving now? Yeah, I got. A, I have an appointment this morning, so gotcha. yeah, I, think I had to roll out. I have to get here, so that's why I get oh, here a little Oh, really? Yeah. Oh, shit. So, I usually yeah. work. I have a half a day today in okay. the morning, so um. anyway, I come up here about 6.30 okay. on Thursdays, and yeah. I roll out, like, by, uh, you know, probably by 7.30. I'm out of here already. Gotcha. But anyway. Right. Sounds good, man. That was awesome. Nice you. Yeah, man. Yeah. Thank you so All much. All right, you take care. Appreciate we'll it. We'll see you. All right, so let's get right into our haul from the Golden Nugget Flea Market. Let's start with these two characters. Now, you have a couple of Universal Monsters, and these things are really cool. They're made by the Marks Company back in the 1960s, early 1960s, probably somewhere around 1963, if I'm not mistaken. But anyway, these are always cool to pick up when you're at the flea market. You really don't see them too often. Now, the condition on these two particular figures are really not that great. I came home, and, you know, it was one of those things when you're at the flea market, it's early in the morning, you see the things, you buy them, you're not really looking at the condition. I gave him the six bucks, I threw him in my bag, and I was good to go. Anyway, the Phantom is missing his little mask. The creature is missing his little claws on there, so he can't claw you all up. But anyway, a dog probably chewed him, a kid probably chewed him, and that's just how they are. So I picked them up for six bucks. I probably value them in these conditions, maybe about the $15 range for the pair. 
But next up, I really like this item. I really enjoy collecting carnival mirrors. And these little guys you really don't see too often, especially the Blondie one. This thing was really awesome. Picked it up for 10 bucks, and I'll just add that to my collection. That thing is just super cool. Last but not least, we have the old Dracula lobby card from 1975. This thing is pretty cool. Sometimes you could find them in a complete set. That's not the case with this one. $15 is probably a little bit much for this. But anyway, I just thought it was cool. I picked it up and there you go. All right, let's get right into our haul from the Columbus Farmer's Market. Now, it was an early Thursday morning. It was quite cold, and this is one of the very first picks of the morning. So let's just get right into it. This is a nice little lot of 80s LJ and WWF wrestling figures. And I also picked up a 1981 Dukes of Hazard Ertl diecast car, which I'm going to show you guys in a minute. So let's just get right into these action figures or wrestling figures. These things are definitely really cool, and these are definitely well played with. You won't find a lot of these carded when you do you can expect to pay big bucks for these figures and these always sell very quick at the flea market so when I saw a nice little lot of them I definitely had to check it out I had to see if I can make a deal on them so let's just get right into these these are really cool and again these are well played with toys when we were little kids that's what we did we took them out of the package and we beat the hell out of them that's just what you do that's what you do with the little wrestling figures anyway you get paint uh, little paint marks on these all over the place but I took them I found a um, nice little YouTube video on how to clean these things. Take a little bit of soap and water, scrub them up a little bit, take a little bit of nail polish remover with a little cloth and a little q-tip. And man, I cleaned up all these figures. Probably took me about two hours total. But man, these things, uh, they clean up very, very nice and these are super cool. So let's just get right into them one by one and I'll show you a couple pictures at the very end of the haul so you can see them up close and personal. Anyway, we got Randy Macho Man Savage over here. We got the Iron Sheik, and I know all these old school wrestlers because these are the wrestlers that I grew up with when I was a little kid. You got Brutus Beefcake, and this is a pretty funny story. We used to ride our little BMX bikes, and a lot of time the old BMX bikes had a little pad that goes across the front. Well, here's what we used to do. We used to make our own wrestling ring. You take the pad off your bike, you lace it up, you were Brutus Beefcake, and you pound little kids over the head with it. Our friends, not you know, kids that we knew, not kids that we didn't know. Anyway, that's what we did for fun. Um, let's keep going. We got the Junkyard Dog. He's pretty cool. You got Jesse, the body Ventura. This thing's pretty nice. You got Ricky, the dragon steamboat over there. He's pretty cool. You got George, the animal steel. This guy's just awesome. I love the way this thing looks. He was a crazy character back in, uh, back in the day. You got King Kong Bundy. He's pretty cool. Everybody remembers Big John Stud, and this one's uh, pretty nice because he still has the stars on the side. This is a really nice lot of wrestlers, and again, these cleaned up really nice. You got Rowdy Roddy Piper over here. Everybody remembers that episode when uh, Jimmy Superfly Snuka was on Piper's Pit. Classic. One of my favorites of all time is Jimmy Superfly Snuka right there. This thing is just super clean. Now, an item like this, he can go about 30 35 bucks in this kind of condition just by himself. And Macho Man, he goes for about $50 in really nice condition. Anyway, you got the classic Hulk Hogan over here. You got Hillbilly Jim. And I remember when Hillbilly Jim was first introduced into the WWF, he was actually, they put him in as like a bystander. And uh, the wrestlers would come out and kind of mess with the crowd a little bit. One day he stood up and he was ready to rock and roll and fight the wrestlers. And that's kind of how he got introduced. Anyway, that's the way I remember it. So here we got the Russian, um, Nikolai Volkov. And last but not least, the master, you got the Andre the Giant. So anyway, this thing is really cool, and there you go. All right, next up, we have a couple of Dukes of Hazard items. Now, this is one of the things I really enjoy looking for when I'm out at the flea market, are Dukes of Hazard items. They're just super cool. I really like the General Lee in particular. Just a really, really cool car. I think it's a 1969 Charger, or 68 or 69 Charger, if I'm not mistaken. Anyway, it's a classic muscle car. This thing is just super cool. Really cool color, nice graphics on it. This thing is in really awesome condition. Now, they made a lot of die cast cars over the years, and it's really kind of hard sometimes to know what year it is without looking at it, and the print is usually really small. So I was surprised when I found this one because it's from 1981, and this thing's just super cool. Now, the doors don't open on this. This is made by Ertl. It's about eight and a quarter inches long. Really nice size. Uh, you could put it on a shelf. You could bring it with you at work. Throw it on your desk or something like that. And this thing is always cool. Bring back some memories. When you were watching uh, the Dukes of Hazard when you were a little kid. Really, really cool item. 
Um, I think I picked this up. Well, I can't really say it was 50 bucks. So if I paid 150 for the figures, you call this 50. This is worth somewhere around, I guess somewhere around the 60 to $80 range for this car. But anyway, there you go. I probably will end up selling that because I got a bunch of Dukes of Hazard stuff. Bunch of cars in my collection. Speaking of another car that's going into my collection, we got this bad boy right here. Now this is probably newer. I didn't see a date on it, but man, this thing is just super cool. The size and scale on this is really awesome. Now that's the 124th scale on that 1981 Ertl. The scale on this is a 116th and it says right on the front. Big 1 16th scale, and it's a generally, this thing's awesome in unused condition. I'll, I don't know what I'm going to do with it right now. I definitely won't put it together. It's a really terrific box, awesome display piece, and I'll put it in my private collection. So there you go. All right, so I picked up a couple of other items this morning, so let's just get right into these guys. Now, these are always cool. It's a vintage blow mold. You got the pumpkin. You got the little cat on there. You have the little dancing skeletons. You can light it up and it's just really cool. Now I paid 35 bucks for this. That's a pretty fair price. You can find these anywhere between like the 30 and $45 range, typically at the flea market. I just thought he was cool and I picked him up this time. Sometimes I pass on them, sometimes I don't, and there you have it. So anyway, I got my little portable battery and I'll show you this bad boy in a minute. So this is pretty cool. If your power ever went out, you take your little portable battery, you plug in the little pumpkin lamp, and what better to have in your hands is this really cool classic rock vintage t-shirts book. You got over 400 pictures in here, some killer t-shirts. This book is just awesome and I can't wait to go through the whole thing. They have some classic uh, t-shirts in here, Kiss, Ozzy, you name it, it's in here. This thing is just super awesome. Highly recommend you go look this up and try to find one yourself. This thing is just super cool. Last but not least, this is pretty new. It's made in the last couple of years, but it's made by Mattel. I just thought he was pretty cute. It's a little Boba Fett guy or something like that. He's got a little jet pack on him. I don't know if you fill it up with water. He's got this little uh, projectile thing over here. And there you have it. Let's see if it works. Yeah, I guess it does. So anyway, that thing's pretty cool, and there you go. So here you go. These vintage blow mold pumpkin lights are just super awesome. Look how cool this little guy is. Lights up the room just enough. You could grab a beer, grab a drink, something like that. You turn your little pumpkin dude on. He's happy to go. You're ready to go, and there you go. All right, last but not least, we have this huge kiss standee. Check this bad boy out. I'm going to lift it up a little bit here, and I'm not sure you can even see the full bottom of it. I'm going to give it a whirl there anyway. Now, I picked this up at the flea market for 20 bucks. A couple of friends at the flea market picked it up a couple of weeks ago. They were watching some of the videos and they said, I thought Jason might like something like this. And they were kind enough to bring it to the flea market and sell it to me for 20 bucks. Thank you guys so much. This is just super cool. Now I am a huge fan of the old school Kiss, but anyway, it doesn't matter with this, uh, something like this. This thing is just super awesome. Look at the outfits on these guys. You gotta love it. It's still Kiss and there you go. All right, it is time for me to rock and roll. Hopefully you guys really enjoyed today's episode. And if you're into vintage toys from the 60s, 70s, and 80s, you like vinyl records, cool stuff like that, please like, share, subscribe. Leave a comment down below. Let us know how we're doing. But I want everybody to have a fantastic week. Stay safe out there. See ya.